Hello, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here. So uh, we're doing the tarot portion of the taroscope for the sign of Gemini for the month of uh, March 2022. So, of course, um, Gemini is a Mercury world sign, as we know. And uh, this month, Mercury is in, um, let's see. I think it's in Aquarius and does it move into Pisces? Yes, it moves into, oh, it's in Aquarius and it moves into Pisces on the ninth. It's only in Pisces until um, the 27th. So math in my head, 18 days, and then it moves into Aries. So, um, your Mercury, Mercury is moving quick. Mercury is moving quick. Uh, Mercury spent a lot of time in Aquarius and Capricorn through its retrograde cycle. So now things are, are starting to move. So you're going to start to feel things moving. Uh, and then, of course, Venus being in Aquarius and actually Mars also, Venus and Mars being in Aquarius um, will, things are going to move quickly. Like, there's almost nothing holding, holding that uh, Gemini energy back. All right, so let's see what uh, is in the cards for Gemini for the month of March. Is um, I am using the Wild Unknown deck. Uh, I love this deck, one of my favorite new decks. I say that about all of them, don't I? I love this deck. I love that deck. I love them all. Well, not all of them. Some of them are a little hard to take, but this isn't one of them. <laughs> I'm just going to get some uh, shuffling up, shuffling up. Oh, it does feel good for you guys now that the nodes are no longer in Gemini. It's like um, when the nodes are in your sign, in the case, in the previous sign of Gemini, Sagittarius, it's like living next to a, a highway. There's always action, there's always movement, there's always noise. North Node in Gemini, a lot of people at your front door. Luckily now it's in Taurus, so you guys get a little bit of a break with that. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, let's see. Um, we have the hanged, the hanged man here. So there is a sense of being in limbo, a sense of limbo, a sense of maybe not having control over your situation. Um, this is observing life as it passes you by, not that you necessarily wouldn't want to interact with life, but when you have the hanged man, it's as if your, your hands are tied behind your back. In that respect, it's very important for uh, number one, that you take the time to look at things from a different perspective. That is, that is part of the hanged man uh, situation. It's also important that you stay connected to your spiritual sources, because when, with no action, your your intuition can open up. With the stillness, even if it's a stillness that's forced upon you, um, you can open up. And it's an opportunity for us to connect with uh, the great cosmic sea, the forces. Uh, what's crossing this is the temperance card. Um, so these are two very powerful cards sitting next to each other here. Uh, temperance is about healing. It's about balance. It's about not getting caught up in extremes. As a challenge though, as a challenge, really, uh, it's about a willingness to go through the fire. Temperance is a initiation by fire. And so um, you, are, you are going through a transformational process and, there's, and you, it's like, like you're tied up. So you, can, you just have to understand that it's part of the process. It's part of the process. Let's see what's underneath it. Okay, we have the five of pentacles. Um, this is loss. 
Um, it's financial, it can be financial, we could call it financial ruin, perhaps. Um, I just want to remind people, and I do this every month, and I apologize for those of you who don't want to hear it, but this could also apply to certain Geminis in the world <clears throat> that are <clears throat> well known. So uh, if that cheers you up. <laughs> um, the Five of Pentacles is a disruption in, uh, and loss. And it's important to remember through these periods of time that this is when your connection to spirit really matters. Actually in the Kabbalah, in the way that I uh, connect the numbers to the tree of life and, and the tarot card, this is the 73 one vibration um, as I look at it. And it is known as the vibration of miracles. And so just because you're at a loss now in some way, you're having to let go of maybe something that was precious to you. It could be your resources. It could be a person. It could be a relationship. I don't know. Um, but it's time has come. It's time to change. This The five is about change, and it's at the root of the reading. And so change has to happen, and you have no power over that change. You have to accept, surrender, and know that this is a spiritual initiation that you're going through. In the past, we have the sun of, um, the sun of flames. This is the rising of the Kundalini. This is the night of, um, the night of wands. In this deck, it, it speaks to me of a spiritual awakening. And so in, in, the, uh, in the past, you've had a spiritual awakening. And uh, as somebody who's had a number of spiritual awakenings, um, in my experience, usually it's like spiritual awakening and then everything just goes kerplooey and then it settles down and then you're, then you're like, oh, I see. But it's almost like, the rising of the energy, the rising of the Kundalini force, the rising of, upsets the apple cart to a point where you almost don't recognize what your life is going to be after that, that illumination. And so it may, you know, let's just say spiritual initiation and spiritual illumination is not for sissies. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're seeking that, or even if you're not seeking it and it happens, know that um, this is a process that you're going through. Don't judge it. Surrender. Let's see what's in the sky. <laughs> oh, the eight of swords, the eight of swords in, in this deck, especially is very powerful with the lightning bolts and the, and the, uh, the, the snake and the symbol of the infinity sign. This is choices, decisions, um, in the case of certain Geminis out there, it could be justice, truth is exposed. Um, truth is exposed. See what's in the immediate future. Ah, the three of cups. So you do have, uh, while all of this is happening, which seems quite um, disruptive in its way, um, you will have people that you can talk to. You have friends, you have soul mates and soul people and soul groups. They're, your friends are there for you and they will help you. Um, and so um, it's important that while you're going through this process, um, you, do, you don't actually have to go through it alone. It's your process, but there are, there, there are, there, there, uh, blah, 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 blah. There are people there to help support you through it. Let's see uh, how it's seen from the outside um, that you're very strong. So if you didn't think you were strong enough, you know that you're strong enough. So there is strength there. There is strength there. Your domestic situation, we have the son of swords. This can be an action. Something is happening. There's movement. Um, you know, swords can be arguments. Um, the Sun of Swords or the Knight of Swords is known for sort of coming in and creating chaos. Uh, so 
things at home are going to be a little pointy. Let's put it that way. Things at home, it's not, it's not restful. Home is not going to be necessarily a restful place. Hopes and fears is the emperor. You're, you want you want you want agency over your life. You want to have control again. That's a hope. That's a hope. Let's see the outcome. We have the six of of wands. This is the victory card. So there is a victory. There is um, a, a rainbow coming after the storm. Um, it's a it can be a little bloody, <laughs> a little. Um, um, There, there may be some cleanup to, to do. There may be some cleanup to do. And then we have um, the Wheel of Fortune. So a change in fortune. So that's a one vibration. So we have an ace, we have a one. Um, so this is a very powerful time for you. Um, I want to say you agreed to this before you came into this lifetime. So don't, don't like judge yourself for it. Let's see what's underneath. Okay. All right. So what's underneath here? We have the two of swords. We have um, the eight of wands and we have the four of, of cups. You've been at a crossroads. You've been at a, a stalemate and information is gonna come out to find, to, to expose um, the rat, <laughs> the rat. Now, in certain cases for certain famous people, they might actually be the rat. Um, but for the rest of you, uh, there could be somebody um, that perhaps you trusted or somebody that um, that you didn't realize was not, didn't have your best intentions. Um, um, so so if, if there is a decision that you were holding back on because you didn't have the information, you get the information and then you can, you can change things because that eight of that eight of wands moves things very quickly, very quickly. So um, yeah, so that's Gemini. Wow, that's powerful. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you again next month for the Terrascopes for the month of April for the sign of Gemini. Take care, everyone. Namaste.